last week an unfortunate um, event um, an unfortunate thing happened to one of our brother in Christ and um, a ministry uh, Apostle Johnson Suleiman of Omega Fire Church and um, it was a sad event um, I gave him a call was it on Friday um, and um, he narrated all that happened I want to first say our heart go to the family of the policemen, ministry members who lost their life in the sad event that took place just this week. There was an attempt on the life of the man of God and it was a narrow escape through the help of God. I know people will say what they want to say. If you say bulletproof, car proof, or whatever proof, there are people who have used bulletproof and have been apprehended and killed. There are people who have been presidents who are heavily guided, who have been assassinated. In things like this I'm not here to argue with men we are here to say the act of trying to take somebody's life no matter the reason is barbaric is satanic is demonic is condemnable not to even talk about a man of God We have come to a point in life where hatred has full our heart. Now we no longer understand what is called the fear of God. I just want to register my voice by saying this act is condemnable, it's barbaric, it's satanic. And I have confidence in the Nigerian police. I know. When they want to do their job, they will do it thoroughly. I've seen them swiftly moved in many occasions and bring out truth. We hope that the Nigerian police will not fold their hands. We know that the corporate and the people behind this will be exposed, prosecuted, and dealt with lawfully. And to the church and the body of Christ, we no longer know who is our enemy and who is our friend. One of the set of the people that is so scary to deal with is we pastors among pastors. Today, 100 pastors can't stay in the same roof and eat together without suspecting each other. That's why things have fallen apart in the gospel. The revival is dying because one person feels he's the Lord of all. We no longer see the gospel we preach as his gospel. We think it's our gospel. The ones who say they are holy are the ones who actually have the vampire taste. Let's be very careful. Jesus prayer in John 17 that father make them one as we are one until we come to the point where we are united we are deceiving ourselves for the prayer of revival the reason why 
there's no revival in the land. You think, you man of God watching me, you think you can cause the revival alone? No. You need me, I need you. We all need one another. Let's stop fighting one another. Nobody is an island. We know in part, we prophesy in part. If you don't believe a man is genuine, leave him to God. Time will tell. You don't need to do the work of God for God. trying to take somebody's life. You think you will not die? Is there anyone who will live here forever? Nobody. Nobody. Since the day I saw my father went down, my mother, I did the burial myself. I came out from them. I knew how empty life is. I don't struggle for anything. If you call me a low man of God, no problem. If you call me a third man of God, no problem. I'm just brother Joshua. I'm not fighting for anything. I'm fighting to make heaven. I feel it. The name calling, we have dishonored men of God in Nigeria too much. I want to beg Nigerians on behalf of all the men of God in Nigeria. If we have offended you people, forgive us. The attack on fathers of faith is too much. If you don't talk about that debo you, you talk about Oyedekpo. If you don't talk about Oyedekpo, you talk. Every one of us is not good. Please, if you know you can do our work, come and do it. Forgive us. We are men before we became men of God. We are not the government of Nigeria. We are not the one that is handling the political position in Nigeria. The situation of Nigeria is not caused by us. Can you vent your anger in the right direction and choose a new leader that can change Nigeria in the forthcoming election? We will never be politicians. We will never be in position to rule. We are men of God. And for women of God, if they criticize you, look at the criticism, the constructive criticism that points to you and turn a new leaf. The voice of the people sometimes can be the voice of God. But taking somebody's life is dangerous. Even women of God, we don't know who is. Watch my track record have been here standing i know you i don't know you if you receive a bullet i will come out and defend you we don't need this is me when senior prophet tv joshua was alive i did it in his lifetime and after his lifetime and i'm still doing it if not for timely intervention just like that how much will they give you to take somebody's life what a wall we want to pray for apostle johnson suleiman most especially seven families lost seven people our gallant police who fought to their death in the quest of getting one person, seven people lost their life. Our heart felt condolence 
go for this family of these great, great heroes who are just following their man of God. Why? Why must you kill? Why must we? What has become? Why? I see over the internet people playing politics, abusing. We no longer have conscience in Nigeria again. Life doesn't mean anything. Seven families are crying now. And what means to us is whether a man is real or is fake. Why? What has become of Nigeria? Where is that Nigeria? I used to know. Years ago, my father's land. Where the blood of one means a lot to us. Why? We're going to pray for the families who have lost their loved ones before we pray for the apostle. What is our joy? Can we focus on the good God has used the apostle to do? We all have weakness, oh. So we all have. We all have. Forget about all these things these men of God are doing everywhere. Everybody have weakness. Me talking to you, we all have our weakness. It is only God that is our strength. We are hiding under his grace. Can we look at some good parts of all these our leaders and pray for them? Let's pray for that family. All the seven families. Lord, we pray for Omega Fire Ministry. We pray for the families of the police members who have lost their lives. We pray for healing to flow through the family. We pray for your hands of grace that can suit and heal pain to heal the pains. Amen. We pray for apostle, his wives and kids and the leaders. We pray that affliction will not rise the second time. Yeah. Amen. We pray this event will cause a new revival. Amen. These ones who are behind it will be exposed. Yeah. Amen. We put an end to storm. Yeah. Amen. We declare divine intervention. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.